Hi, I'm Maureen Fitzgerald. I'm the author of Occupy Woman, a manifesto for change in a world run by men. This is my book trailer. If you really want to know why women are not advancing in the world today and you really want to do something about it, this book is definitely for you. About eight years ago, I was practicing law and writing another book when I came across a book in a used bookstore by a writer called Anne Wilson Schaaf. The title of her book was A Woman's Reality. And although it was written in 1991, it was a bestseller having sold 300,000 books. As I read her book, huge lights began to go on for me. In a nutshell, Dr. Schaaf says this, all of women's problems in the world are caused by one thing that she called the white male system, or a political system that places women as second-class citizens. Although I had practiced law for 20 years and was a gender expert, her book took me by surprise. I had never really made the links between all of women's issues from lack of education to prostitution and violence to this one simple concept. I had always thought that maybe government action or education or money would be the answer and I thought in some way that many of the women's issues were local or religious or random. So as these thoughts were going through my mind, I began to do some more research and this is the question I was left with. Why is it that women are treated so badly in the world? And why is it a global issue? And more importantly, why have things not changed very quickly? The good news is that after eight years of research, I do know what's really going on. And I have to say, I'm pleased to be able to put it into an easy to read book. In my book, you will find out that women have not achieved equality by any stretch in the world and they are at the bottom of corporations, the bottom of family units, and the bottoms of society. As a group, women have less money, less influence, less opportunity than men, and it's been this way for a centuries, centuries. Number two, women continue to be around the world subjected to violence, objectified, and sold for their bodies. This is not just a remote situation. They suffer regular rape, wife abuse and wife killing, and millions of girls are sold as sex slaves, and pornography is a billion dollar industry. At the same time, men continue to hold the bulk of the power in business and in corporations and in politics, and women are left out of influence, positions of influence. But here's the good news. I want to tell you this. There is nothing wrong with women in the world. They are not weak or stupid or second class. And they are not born to be slaves. And number two, there's definitely something wrong with the beliefs that we hold about women's role and about women in our society. And there's something very wrong about our institutions, political and economic, that keep women out. So we need to do this. We need to stop calling these things a girl's and women's issue and stop burdening these girls and women with solving the problems of things like violence and pornography and misogyny, and we must focus on challenging our beliefs, institutions, and habits. Beliefs, institutions, and habits that make up our current system that we call patriarchy. So here's what I think you need to do. Number one, read my book, Occupy Women. It describes the way we hold girls back um, through our beliefs and habits, but more importantly, it has specific solutions and it's written in plain language. Then I'd like you to copy the manifesto at the back of the book that specifically describes the steps we need to take. Take it to your group, take it to your community, take it to your book club and discuss the manifesto and come up with ways in which you can actually start seeing those strategies happen. And third, if that doesn't work, please go to my website MaureenFitzgerald.com, read my blogs, read my articles, and invite me to speak. I have to tell you this, gender equality won't happen overnight, but we need to take action right now if we want things to improve for our daughters and for their daughters. So together, 
I think we can bring about gender equality. So please join me and buy my book today. Thank you.